What's up guys, it's been a few days, but I'm back with another video to talk about a couple things here. Uh, first thing is we finally have some new game types and maps added to the Halo Championship series. Uh, since the game came out in November of last year, uh, we've had you know nothing but just three maps, and those three maps are Warlord, which is a remake of Warlock, and then we've had uh, the Sanctuary remake Shrine, and then we've had the uh, Lockout remake Lockdown. And, you know, those maps are all fantastic, good and dandy, but, you know, when you only have three maps and you're playing them over and over and over again, you go to so many tournaments, or if you're a viewer and you watch so many tournaments, or if you just play matchmaking, you play on those three maps, and it gets boring after a while because you want some new maps to play on. Um, like back in the Halo 3 days or Halo 2 days in MLG, you know, you've had, you had at least, you know, five maps to play on. And uh, even in Halo Reach, you know, you had Forge maps, so at least you had five maps to play on still. Uh, but, you know, for whatever reason until now, they, uh, 303 hasn't allowed players to add their Forge maps into the rotation until now. So, uh, first thing is the game type that we're going to be getting is Ricochet. Um, so, it was briefly shown in uh, Halo 4's V5 competitive settings when Ghost Yami was running things. And uh, a lot of people didn't like it. They didn't like how you can, you know, uh, pass the ball, how you could, uh, you know, cherry pick people. And, you know, just, you know, it just it didn't play well for competitive. Uh, they preferred to play oddball over ricochet. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be added. Uh, they already played it a couple times, I do believe. We've had two preseason cups so far in Season 2. Uh, the first one, Team Randa won. I think that was Nate's team. And then the second one, Evil Geniuses uh, won, I believe. Uh, and then the maps that we're going to be getting, uh, Epic Burrow, um, it's a symmetrical forge map created by Chunk, and it's played with Capture the Flag, Assault, and Ricochet, um, and then below it, it'll show you what weapons are on it and stuff, uh, and then we're going to be getting a map called Eden that has been, uh, widely talked about in the, uh, competitive scene, it is a map that was created by Obi-Wan, Obi-Y Kenobi, um, and it can be played Team Slayer and King of the Hill, and then it's got the weapons. So all you have to do to download these maps is you just have to add um, official space HCS as a friend on Xbox Live, and then you view their fall share once they appear on the roster in the Halo Mastery Collection, and then you should be able to download the maps and game types if you want to check it out, and I will link it down below so you can check it out. And then um, we've got some Destiny news. There is a sick trailer for the uh, Destiny House of Wolves DLC that's going to be coming out. Um, it's going to be coming out in May, May 19th. Um, it's a 1 minute 42 second trailer. Uh, basically, it just goes, you know, back to the Queen when you went to the Reef for that brief moment in the campaign. It was a story mode. And, you know, she says that you're going to have to help her in the future. And now that time has finally come. And um, she needs your help on killing some fallen that betrayed her and killed her men and all that good stuff. So the trailer is pretty epic. Um, it's just her talking and stuff. And um, not it, has, it hasn't been announced if this is going to release a raid or anything like that. Um, but there is going to be some new things that are going to be coming out. Um, it's going to be April 22nd, April 29th, May 6th, and May 8th is when they're going to release um, more details on the DLC before it comes out on May 19th and it's going to be on the uh, Xbox One and uh, PlayStation 4 and maybe I think it's on I can't remember what uh, consoles besides those two have Destiny on it um, I think it's on the 360 and PS3 I'm not too sure though um, but basically Bungie said that you're going to be able to expand your Destiny adventure with a wealth of weapons armor and gear to earn and new story missions uh, three new competitive multiplayer maps and a new cooperative strike uh, Expansion 2 introduces a new competitive elimination mode in the Crucible and an all-new arena activity. The Prison of Elders, the Reef is open, join the Awoken and hunt down the Fallen, rising against us. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty cool. And yeah, should uh, bring, some people back, blah, 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 bring some people back to play Destiny um, since there hasn't been too much going on after uh, people have already beaten Crota's uh, and and then we've got some uh, Destiny patch notes 1.1.2 coming out. A um, lot of improvements uh, for weapons and all this stuff. Uh, obviously with this stuff there's too much to talk about so usually I just link it down below and you guys can check it out. Um, but basically the Destiny community has been begging uh, for more vault space so they have uh, done improvements and additions to that so you're going to have more vault space. Um, 
They also introduce a colorblind mode uh, for people that are colorblind and new audio controls and the ability to lock weapons and more. And that is going to be with, you know, they have uh, colorblind support for uh, Kletcher Anopia, uh, Protanopia, and Tritanopia. Added for highly color driven gameplay elements, motion tracker, um, loot drops, shield energy, item categories, audio controls for uh, volume control, and music toggling. So you can toggle the music off, which is something that a lot of Halo fans would love if they had it in the game. Uh, weapons, you're gonna have some weapons uh, fixes in general and some perks. Uh, the world. Uh, players can now choose to wear their helmets in social spaces. Uh, quest loot, pyramid, bubbles are now easier to spot, and uh, you know so on and so forth. Uh, strikes, the cerebri cerebrus uh, by number three, um, Valus Ta Aruk's strength has been reduced by 33%. Uh, reduce the number of major competitors in the Valus uh, Ta Arc fight. I'm not sure how to pronounce any of that shit, but um, I'm pretty sure that is. I'm pretty sure I remember the strike that I did. Um, that was like you killed the tank and then you killed him, and he was like a meat shield. He just like tanked for a while. Um, raids, wall of glass will no longer display a highlighted activity notification despite players' best efforts to remove it. Uh, fixed a bug where splash damage could penetrate the Agus bubble. Uh, shield relic melee attacks now land minotaurs more consistently and improve issues associated with walking through the teleport. Uh, Quota's end. Quota will now wait until fully standing before a sword attack. Uh, fixed a bug where the sword immediately despawned after killing a sword bear, and then swords will now last a full 30 seconds after being picked up. For PvP, uh, they did some stuff in general, did some stuff for the map, ammunition. Uh, user interface, uh, they've got some new in, u, new visual treatment to quest nodes and nodes that involve quest activities um, and some other stuff. Audio, so you can uh, mute the music, you can not mute the music. Companion, uh, fix issue where combined arms Grimmer card was pointing to the wrong unlock conditions. Fix issue where Grimmer cards were awarding the incorrect number of Grimmer points um, and it's something you can do on your smartphone, I guess. Uh, technical. They fixed a rare soft lock where a player's can internet connection drops, clarified error that displays when user has insufficient hard drive space, and then better handling of rest mode and resume on PlayStation 4. Um, so yeah, so it's pretty sick. They're uh, patching a bunch of stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video um, as more news gets uh, released for Destiny and all that other stuff and Black Ops 3, which is going to be coming out soon. Uh, well, not soon, but um, you know, it's, more information is going to be coming out soon with gameplay and all that at E3. I will make more videos as uh, it comes out. And I am Tabrizic. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.